Hey everybody, I'm back and today we're going to be fishing for crappie. It's going to be a great day. The sun is out. It is getting warm and it's just a beautiful day. But stick around because I'm going to be talking about live scope settings, the settings I use. I'll show you what they are. And then also I'm going to show you about Garmin and the Active Captain and how you can actually record uh, what you're actually seeing on your screen. So if you want to download it, upload it to a computer or whatever, uh, you can actually record it. So I'm going to show you the steps to do that. Stick around. We'll see you on the water. That's a good one. Wow. A large mass? No, that's a big blue cat. It's probably a two pound blue cat just hit that. Gotta get the pliers here. Okay. Nice blue cat. Okay, right on top of one. There he goes, he's coming. Got him. Got the species, he's a crappie. Things can be just under, let's see. Yep, nine and three quarters. Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how to use the Active Captain uh, Garmin app on your phone to record your live scope screen from your chart plotter. So let me turn this around and I'll show you what we do. First thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you have your Wi-Fi connected. So we're gonna go to home. We're gonna scroll over to settings. We're gonna scroll down to communications. From there, we're going to scroll down to Wi-Fi network, and we want to make sure that our Wi-Fi network is turned on. Okay, so that's on, so we're going to go back to our LiveScope screen. Now we're going to go to our Active Captain app. So take your phone, get the Garmin app. Let's start from scratch here. You want to click on Helm. It's going to show you the image of your LiveScope. Click that. Now the top right-hand corner is a record button. Start recording. So anywhere that I turn my live scope, I'm recording directly from my chart plotter. Now, the great thing about this is, is you don't have any glare from the sun because it's recording it internally, but it's going to your phone. When you're done, hit the button again at the top. And then it's gonna save it directly it's going to save it directly to your photo library. It tells you that at the bottom. So we'll go to our photo library. And then there's the image of recording, and it is playing. So it's that simple. Uh, it's not hard to do. The, like I said, the great thing about it is you don't have any glare if you were to have a camera facing, recording from a GoPro facing the actual chart plotter itself. So it's re recording it internally. So that's the quick, fast, easiest way to do it. Hope you enjoyed. Here comes a fish, it's Roman, let's see. Got him. Better fish. Oh, it's a white bass. Got 
Come on, do it back. He's the white bass. Somebody tried to take a bite out of him. His side. Someone someone tried to get him. He is cold. Man, that water's cold. Alright, so I'm gonna go over and let you know what my settings are for my live scope. I know everyone's different. Uh, water clarity, different things, different depths, all that can change. Uh, what works great here at Lake Ray Roberts um, is what I'm going to show you. So I'm in 18 feet of water. I have my live scope looking out to 30 feet. There's a couple of fish here on the right hand side of this tree. And then there's one on the left side down about 14 feet. So my settings that I have for my live scope, I have my gain set at 58. My depth, I'm at 23, or I can't see, 23 or so. My forward range, I'm currently looking at 30 feet. And I'll go through the rest of it. So I'm using amber for my color scheme. My color gain is 86%. My color limit is 25%. Uh, noise reject is high, ghost reject low. I have the TVG set is off. So that's my settings. Again, it comes in pretty clear. You can see a couple of fish down there. So. If you're having issues with your with your settings, uh, you can give these a try. This works great for my area, but I know everyone's different, so see ya.